Hey guys, I'm Coach Ty with Muscle Wiki. This is our good friend Cheska back again to help us out, and we're going straight to the form. So today we got the reverse curl. So first thing you want to do is always grab on the outside of the dumbbell. So press this part of your hand all the way to the edge. Go ahead and move your hand outward. Yep. Now what this will do is because you have an offset grid, it's going to force your palm down. If you're grabbing in the middle, it's very easy to start flaring outward, which we don't want to do, and also very easy to end up in a hammer position, which we also don't want to do. We want to keep the palms down the entire time. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start full flexion and full extension. Try to get your forearm to touch your bicep, and then you want to fully extend the elbow. Yep, again, make sure the elbows do not flare outward. Also, make sure you're not swinging on any bicep curl. It's real easy to start getting your hips into it and swinging too much. So make sure you keep it strict and make sure your forearms and primarily your biceps are doing all of the work. Also, make sure you do not break at the wrist. This is one of the most common mistakes I see with the reverse curl. When they start getting too difficult, you start getting a little T-Rex action. Make sure you keep your wrist strong. That's way too much torque on that wrist joint and can lead to an injury. So make sure you keep strong wrists. What do reverse curls train? Well, the brachioradialis, uh, the biceps brachii, and to a lesser degree, the muscles in your forearm. Now the muscles in your forearm, while you're performing a reverse curl, they're in a static contraction. And as you may already know, dynamic movement is better for muscle growth than static contractions. So. If you're just looking for forearm growth, if that's your primary reason for doing this exercise, I would tell you to stick with a wrist extension move because again, you've got dynamic movement with the wrist extension. With the reverse curl, it's static. So again, for muscle growth purposes, wrist extension. However, you can get a little more bang for your buck with the reverse curl because you can get a little extra bicep with the reverse curl and hit different muscles than you will with a supinated bicep curl and also get that static contraction in your forearms. All right, folks, that's it for the reverse curl. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Let us know the other exercises you'd like to hear from us. And real soon, we've got a lot more unique content coming out. We're gonna do some challenges, some workouts, some science breakdowns. So whatever fitness related you'd like to hear from us, please let us know. Thank you, Cheska. As always, make sure you go follow Cheska. And we'll see you with the next one. Deuces.